Welcome! Today I'll show you how to use the Fog of War and Grid tab in Infinite Realms to set up and customize your scenarios for your tabletop RPG sessions. Infinite Realms provides immersive and handy tools for your classic 2D battle maps, animated video maps and our all new 3D maps. My name is Danny, let's do this! In the last video I showed you how to customize the look and effects of a scene in Infinite Realms to create a moody atmosphere. Today we are going to talk about preparing the scenario for exploration and combat. If you don't want to show the whole map immediately, you can use our Fog of War tool. This way you can selectively reveal the parts of the map that have already been explored by the players or are visible to them. So let's first turn on the Fog of War which now covers the whole map. On our 3D maps individual objects may well stick out of the fog. In practice this is not a problem because those objects are visible from far away like treetops. By the way, I'm working here without a second display right now, so the fog briefly becomes transparent when I move the cursor, so the Game Master can see what he's uncovering. In dual screen mode the Game Master screen is always transparent and the player screen is always opaque. The box select tool is selected. Simply click with the left mouse button drag and release to reveal an area. With the right mouse button you can cover an area again. The tool then shows a red frame. Alternatively the brush tool is available. The size of the brush can be adjusted via the slider in the tab. Here too the left mouse button uncovers. The mouse wheel can also be used to adjust the brush size when the tab is closed. The right mouse button can be used to add fog again. The tool will also turn red here. With the Reset Fog button the complete Fog of War can be restored. Let's move on to the grid. Many games use a square or hex grid to easily display distances and ranges. The grid in Infinite Realms is optional, but can be customized to fit your needs when used. On the right side of the tab you can set the type and color of the grid. We configure a white hex grid. The grid is a bit too strong for our scene, so we turn down the grid strength a bit. The required scale can differ depending on the game or even the output device used, so there is the possibility to adjust the size via the grid scale slider. You might want to shift the grid a bit to adjust it optimally to the map. The two shift sliders are available just for that. The grid can be reset with one click and if you don't need it, simply be deactivated. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. Maybe leave a like or even better, share the video with friends who share your hobby. In the next video I'll show you how to manage your scenarios, add more maps, handle 2D battle maps and videos and finally scale and move on maps that are bigger than your screen. You can find more information on our website infinite-rams.de, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and on Reddit. Have a good time and see you in the next video.